So we wanted to talk to you about free agency. We also want to talk to you about your latest mock draft, where you don't have a quarterback taken in the top 10. Uh, by the way, if you want to check it out, it's available now on SI.com. How likely is that in the real NFL draft? I, I don't know that it's extremely likely, but it was fairly easy to get out of that top 10 without having a quarterback there. So I guess in other words, it, 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 it you can see scenarios where each team wouldn't want a quarterback. And it's kind of interesting to watch the free agent market develop and you see the Bears go get Mike Glennon and the 49ers sign a couple of quarterbacks uh, in Hoyer and Barkley and the Jets are in on Jay Cutler. And you start to wonder if they're maybe all chasing these veterans because they're not thrilled with their options in the top 10 of the draft. And I think there's talent there. I, I think uh, you know, Deshaun Watson there, I, I love Deshaun Watson. I think he's the most NFL ready quarterback. Certainly teams like Trubisky, Patrick Mahomes is rising. So there's options there, but uh, I think we'll see a quarterback in the top 10 just because one of those teams somewhere will get so desperate to have one. But I also don't think it's totally out of the question that it plays out where they start to slip to that, you know, Cleveland at 12, maybe Arizona at 13. There's a lot of defensive talent in this draft. And so teams might just sort of steer into the skid there and go with those defensive players. All right, uh, Chris. Uh, and again, uh, that mock draft is available right now on SI.com. I was interested to see that you, had, you did have some quarterbacks, but going later in the rounds, and you might be interested to see that uh, the Redskins, I guess, are slotted for Deshaun Watson, so they might end up yes. getting their quarterback of the future.